This morning my car is being picked up and I am getting a loaner because today is service day. Yeah. First I have to move the car seat over from my wife's car into my car because she's very kindly going to take Jasper to preschool so that I can actually be here to uh, hand my car over. I won't. Time to get the stuff out of the car because I don't really want my electric bike going off to the service centre. Quite a lot of stuff in here. This could take a while. It's nice to have the sun back. Gorgeous today. Well, they said they'd be here at 10, so kind of now ish. Probably won't hear them coming. I wonder if I get an autopilot car this time. Probably not. I think Tesla's got quite a lot of uh, pre autopilot cars they're having trouble shifting. Hello. Hi. Seemed like a nice chap. One slightly disappointing thing though, there's no P or P plus or P and a D or still at least I actually got a Tesla as a loan car, so can't really complain. I'm looking forward to getting my car back. I like my car. You get used to a car and uh, mine is a good one. This one's only done 13,000 miles. So it's a, a baby in comparison. It doesn't really feel that much more considering there's 33,000 miles difference. I guess we'll find out, give it a road test later. It's also nice that they're not my tires. Okay, so time to go get Jasper from preschool. One thing that's strikingly different, this car's clean. I hope they clean my car. Maybe the drivetrain is a little bit quieter. The lumbar support is all over the place, but still without. Okay, that's interesting. I just went over some bumps in the road and I thought, oh, that's weird. What's going on with the suspension? Is the car sort of boinged all over the place? I've just had a look on the control screen and I can't see any sign of the suspension setting. So, despite what the guy who dropped it off Claimed, this is clearly not an air suspension equipped car. So that's, is that positive? I don't know. Yes, I think that is positive as I spent 2,000 odd pounds on the air suspension package. Now I actually feel it, um, it does something. Funny, I, I can actually really feel the difference in the ride with this. I think all my previous loaners were air suspension equipped cars, so. This is my first time driving on springs in a couple of years. One thing's for sure, the motor in this car definitely is quieter than the one in my car. In fact, at low speeds, the motor in this car is basically silent. Whereas in my car, at low speeds with low power, it makes that sort of milling noise. Common problem that the early Tesla Model S's have suffered from led to I don't know how many drivetrain replacements. I think Tesla made a miscalculation on how much grease needed to be applied to the transmission and also whether that grease needed replacing over time. But it's just one of those little things that don't really become apparent until you've got cars on the road that have done 50,000 odd miles. 
unlike my car, this one has got a sunroof. I was wondering why the steering felt a little bit looser than I'm used to. And according to the settings, it is currently set to comfort, which I don't want. Stand it, please. There you go, it's more like it. This car is supposed to have the high fidelity sound, same as my car, so I'm a bit gutted actually. I had a P85 for my, oh no, I had a P85 Plus for my last loaner, and I've never had an autopilot car. What's that called, Jasper? Yeah. No, what's that called? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. oh, dear me. Yeah, only the one at the front opens. Oh. It's cool, is it? Shall I open it again? No. Oh, okay, I'll leave it closed. Apart from a slightly bouncier suspension setup, that was pretty much the same car, which you'd expect because it's basically the same car. Yeah, so I think that probably ends the service loaner fun for today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog post. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. I'm looking forward to getting my car back. I know they're supposed to be the same, but they're not. Mine's better. Even though it doesn't have the sunroof.